All right, what I've, <coughs> what I've just done is uh, I put the dome up on these panels. Now, as you can see, that big tracker controls the little tracker. Uh, I'm going to show you how I did the installation. Give you another little tip here. If you're going to be drilling in your panels and you don't have a shield behind your drill, use a step drill because uh, you feel pretty damn foolish when you drill through your aluminum bracket into your solar panel. Something to think about. Probably won't want to do that. Alright, so here's the dome. Oh, it is absolutely miserable out here. It's got to be 100 degrees and feels like you're breathing in a wet towel. It's terrible. Another thing when you put these in, you need a reference point. I used my uh, socket and I went down to the bottom here. See? I'm using this as a reference point for depth. As you see, as I slide it across, it's the same so that this can be on the same axis as this panel. It has to be perfect. And now, the 10 foot cord I just made, I'm beginning to think may not be long enough. So it's going to have to come through here, and it's going to have to come down here, and enter the box which I'm going to have to uh, let me actually put the box over here on this side that might be a good place for it and then feed from here out of the box into this box into the, uh, the relays that are in here so when I flip these switches back over to automatic the sun should take that as the other sensor is still attached it should take it back to the west like that one over there. So, let's see what happens. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Now, as you can see, as hard to believe as it may be, I have that little one pretty much timed with this big one, which is a little bit of geometry involved there with the angles of the screw drives on the actuators to get them to match speed. And also, I have that little three-panel job set to go off at about horizontal because after that point, about 6 o'clock in the evening, it starts to be shadowed by this big one. So you'll see the little one will stop and the big one will continue going. Okay, the little one should be stopping right about there. Maybe not. There it is, it stopped. Now this one's going to continue to go on. And then there's a look at the new dome. And uh, I think that's about all I'm going to do because I'm soaked. It's just nasty out here. Okay, it stopped. And it may hunt a bit more as the other one is quite a bit more to the west. But anyway, there's the new wire. It's 10 feet long, and I think I'm going to have to run it down and put the other box, the box I just made for the new sensor, I think it's going to have to mount on this side of the pole, and be fed by this wire, come out of the bottom, tie into these cables, into this relay, and then the new sensor will control both of these trackers. So, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, I didn't even have to build a container for it. I've been looking into buying these things and getting them made, and they're very expensive. There's minimum orders involved, and I just can't see myself selling my trackers with peanut jars on them. Something about that I don't feel right. So anyway, that's as far as I'm going today. I'm going to go close up. And uh, that's it for the up update. So, there you have it.